Okay. Everybody get in there. All right, first things first, let me get your picture though. Okay, one, two, three. All right, ready? Hold on. One, Abby, look. One, two, three. Good job. You just bake it. So basically, you put it in an oven. Grease. You put it in an oven to <laughs> bake it. Groundbreaking. I need a new cameraman. I'm sorry. This, this one is not gonna work. <laughs> Food Network, get me a new cameraman. Welcome to Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. Today we have some special guests. We have Miss Abigail Moss. Say hi. And Isaiah Moss. Hello. It is Thanksgiving Eve, and so we thought we would go ahead and make a couple of pies for you guys. Well, for us, right? Yes. Do you like pie? Yes. You do? <laughs> right. So first, Abby, can you show us the pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie. Then, I've never made an apple pie, but that's what we're gonna attempt. So I got this recipe from my best friend, so wish us luck. Abby, already, she's stripping. So this like is her not apron. that kind of show, Abigail. She also ate one of my apples. She is not following the rules so far. She's gonna be one of those guests that's a little high maintenance, and she's gonna come on and off the screen at her leisure. So we need to make our graham cracker pie crust. Yep. So it's one and a quarter cup of graham cracker crumbs, a stick of butter that you melted. I did melt it. By hand? Yep, <laughs> melted butter by hand. So just pour it in? Yep. Okay. And then we need a quarter cup of sugar. So. I really have no business in the kitchen. Okay, you can mix all that together. Okay. The most I cook normally is like eggs, coffee. Pierogies. Pierogies with, with cumin. Okay, we're not, we can't be here all night. We have other things okay. to do. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. Is this supposed to be all gooey or? Yep. Okay. okay. This is your graham cracker crust. Wow, this is gonna take a minute. I feel like there should be more liquid. Nope. But we have to follow the directions. I, when I cook, I prefer to not follow directions. I just kind of do my own thing. Why are you holding your spoon like that? You're very aggressive. Like, it's a heavy crust. Okay. Is that good? That's good. Okay. So pour that in this dish. Just want to get it all, all the goodness. Okay. okay. Then you're gonna take your clean washed hands and you're gonna pat. It. Okay. I, I'm already doing it. We're not gonna okay. put two hands in or four. So that's. Your graham cracker crust. That was super simple. Right? So don't be buying that store-bought stuff when you move out. When I come for Thanksgiving, I expect... I'm going to your house. No. <laughs> but when I get old and can't do stuff... Now, the next part is super technical. You have to get Libby's Pure Pumpkin. Pure Pumpkin. And you look at the back label to get your recipe. <laughs> See, y'all thought this was my recipe. I really it's thought not... it was gonna be super technical. Why? Libby obviously does a good job. She has her own pumpkin stuff. <laughs> I mean, come on. Go ahead and dump in your one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Okay. I've got one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground ginger. McCormick. Never used. McCormick makes it so easy. You don't have to ground ginger on your own. A half teaspoon of ground cloves. Okay, so these are all your dry ingredients. Now, you need to get your wet ingredients. So go ahead and crack four eggs in this pot. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm good at making eggs, so I, I can crack eggs on my own. I can do that. <laughs> the one thing I can do. Okay. That was a hard egg. Eggs. You're supposed to be opening those cans. Oh, I am. 
teenagers. Are you want to help? Now you're going to add your pumpkin and then your two cans of evaporated milk into your eggs. Go ahead and... Okay. <laughs> Was I supposed to do something? You're supposed to slowly add it. Um, it's like I said, I don't go by the book. I'm a I'm a free spirit cooker. Okay, now you can slowly add it in there. What are you doing? Don't shock the system of the pie. <laughs> it's not even a thing. You're just making it up. This is your pumpkin pie mixture. And this makes two nine inch pies. So we have one here and then we're gonna make another one off camera because that's what you do in, in show business. That way you can have the better looking pie as your finished product. That's all right. Gotcha. You bake in a preheated 425 degree oven for 15 minutes. Then you reduce the temperature to 350 degrees and you bake it for 40 to 50 minutes. You do have to let this cool for about two hours. So don't think that you're gonna make it and then like eat it right away. Pre-plan. Always pre-plan. And that's it. I feel like we should, might need to rename this one from Pots, Pans, and Priscilla to Priscilla Reads a Label. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, it's not like I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> now, my recipes tomorrow are pretty much all my recipes. Like, you won't see me following a recipe. Mom, are these supposed to be in the pot? <laughs> I told y'all I was good at baking. The dry ingredients that you yes. forgot to yeah. put in there? Yeah. All right. Okay. Take two. <laughs> okay, so now you're gonna add your dry ingredients to your pie filling. Come back next week to see her add the dry ingredients. That looks so much better. I was wondering what the color was wrong. What was wrong with the coloring? Okay, I'm stepping in for pie number two. I'm out of the, I'm just too tall. Too tall for the shop. Oh my lord. Okay, chef, what are we making? We are making a cinnamon roll crust apple pie. Sweet. I got this recipe from my bestie. I've never made it, so wish me luck. <laughs> it's gonna be easy, no worries. Okay. All right, first thing we're gonna do is get some flour on our cutting board surface for the pie crust. We got the cheater's pie crust. I'm not making our own. Adding to it though. True, true. It's gonna be special. All right, we got our melted butter and we're gonna spread some butter on this pie crust because pie is not nearly fatty enough. Next, we're gonna need cinnamon and sugar. Sugar, cinnamon and sugar. I'm gonna, you know how much I'm gonna put on here? Enough. Okay, then our cinnamon. Said a lot of cinnamon, right? Yeah. Like this. We got our cinnamon down, and then we're gonna roll it back up. Okay, then we're gonna take that rolled up dough, and we're gonna cut it into little cinnamon rolls. See? So we end up with little, we end up with little cinnamon rolls, just like that. So we're gonna take our pie dish, and we're gonna squish these little cinnamon rolls into the pie dish. about the same thickness that the pie crust was originally. I'm gonna overlap them just a little bit. I'm gonna save these little ones so I can use them to fill in at the end if I need them. And we gotta go up the sides as well, just like a regular pie crust. I didn't fill the sides in, so I'm going to have to uh, do another pie crust. Okay, our crust is completed. So it's gonna look really pretty when it comes out, you know, in that glass dish. And we used um, about one and a half times more crust than you would normally use, but that's okay because the crust is kind of is kind of the star of the show when it comes to this pie. You know, it's not just the filling. In this case, it's a cinnamon roll crust, so it's gonna be really good. You wanna get some flour? Get some flour. Go ahead. Reach in there. There we go. That's a that's a little bit much. We don't need that much. Yeah, let's shake some off here. There we go. Can we put it on the cutting board? Wipe it on the cutting board. Good job. All right, now we're gonna get our dough. Yeah. Check this out, huh? Look at that. 
What do you think of that? Isn't that great stuff? You making little pieces? Good job. Are you done? All right. Go take your apron off. Turn around. Turn around. Hey, are you going tonight? You're going to bed? No, what do you want to do? A pretzel. You want a snack? You want a snack? Yes? Okay, let's pick out a snack. You want to go ahead and start cutting the apples. Uh huh. We need thin slices of those. Okay. And then I'm going to put the flour, sugar, and cinnamon in this bowl. And we'll put the apples in that bowl. Roger that. Okay. Is that thin enough or they need to be thinner? I need to be thinner. Okay, so this is a very cinnamony apple pie, huh? Yeah. Now, how are we doing the top? Are you gonna lace the top, or? No, it's a, it's more of a Dutch apple pie, so it rises high. So what does that mean? With brown, it's gonna have brown sugar. Does it have a crust on top? Not like, not like a pie crust. What kind of crust? Like a brown sugar crust. Wait, there's not going to be a crust on top of our apple pie? Nope, just keep cutting apples. That doesn't sound right. It's right. You just keep cutting. You don't need more crust. You can't eat the product. There's no way all these apples are going to fit in that pot. It has to be over... If you overfill it. Doesn't matter, it's still not going to fit. It's going to fit. Don't cut me. Don't get handsy. <laughs> yeah, so your crumb topping is a stick of butter all-purpose flour, brown sugar, and granulated sugar. And you basically mound it over. Y'all, pies are, that's, that's my thing. thing. I love some pies. Uh, that's, I mean, that's the most important part of the meal to me. Which normally I just buy store-bought pies. Not pumpkin, I've been making pumpkin for a few years. Yeah. But. Well, you've been reading the label on the back of the can for a few years. It's the same thing. Totally. Don't forget, take off your box tops. There's like a whole list of items that box tops come on. So if you don't send them to us, give them to your schools. They'll want them. They're 10 cents per box top. This uh, this apple cutting device has got to be the dumbest thing ever invented. <laughs> you get to the end of the apple and you have to get a wooden spoon to push it the rest of the way through. So you don't cut your fingers off. Stupid, stupid invention. Okay, resume. This was a genius idea. Okay, we've been cutting apples for so long, it is now Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Now I am breathing heavy. <laughs> okay, it tells you that it looks like it's too much, <laughs> but the apples will cook down and it'll be amazing. So it's gonna be heating. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. I don't, we don't have anything to put it. That's what they do with cooking shows. Like, where are they putting them? They have, they <laughs> they have, have little trays and stuff. They, they have, have people, fake... people under the cabinets that like clean their waiting. dishes for them. Can I, can I show them what happened earlier? Yeah. When you preheated the oven. This is a <laughs> bottle of vanilla extract. It was left in the oven. So this is, this is one of those um, autism things or little kid things, if you will. You know, because I'm sure it happens with parents of little kids too. We'll hide stuff in the oven. You know, Priscilla was getting all her stuff ready for, for the pies, and Abigail was getting into it, so she hid everything in the oven and locked the oven. You know, you just have to remember to get stuff out before you preheat. Well, this rolled to the back, and uh, it kind of melted a little. So then I'm like, why does it? Why does my oven smell so good? Like I already have pie in there. So it was uh, cooking, so cooking cookie. vanilla. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do our one stick of room temperature butter, all soft and gonna feel gross when I use my hands to do it. One cup of flour, that's a third, third, yeah, that's close enough. 
one cup of light brown sugar, but we're using dark brown. Because we're rule breakers. Yeah. These cute little dishes here, these are Pioneer Woman dishes. Priscilla loves Pioneer Woman. <laughs> loves all of the stuff that she makes, so uh, she has some Pioneer Woman swag as well. So if you're watching, <laughs> you're such a guy. Why? This is not how you do it. Yeah, it's not sure. how a girl does it. There we go. Okay. Add one tablespoon of granulated sugar. That's regular sugar? Yep. Here, 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 here. No. Tablespoon. Oh my gosh. Don't ruin it. It's not going to ruin it. It's, 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 okay. it's kind of like a tablespoon. I'll mix it with your hands. Oh. All right, then we sprinkle. Do we like coat the top of it? I think so, yeah. amazing though. Yeah it does. Okay this is going in the oven and uh, it's gonna be amazing. I know it is. Okay here we go. Look at this pie. It's like it's bubbling around them. Oh, that's amazing looking. By the time you guys are seeing this, it's already too late and you've already cooked your turkey the wrong way. But we're gonna show you how to cook a turkey, how to prep a turkey for cooking. Important steps here, ready? First and foremost, the neck and the giblets, they all go down inside the pan. They cook inside the pan. That's where you get your, your juices, they go down into the pan you baste from there, and then you can take the neck out later, and all that, and make gravy out of it. It's mm, so good. Okay, we have the stuffing on the stove over here, preparing. Meantime, we're gonna cut slits in the skin of the turkey, and you're putting in garlic. You cut up some garlic, cloves of garlic. Uh, you got green onion, and we're gonna put butters, you know, slices of butter. And rosemary. And rosemary. Uh, then I put salt, pepper, parsley, and basil over my turkey with butter and olive oil. Cool. And the final step? The final step is you flip the turkey over and cook it upside down. Cook turkey upside down. So I accidentally did that one year. Yeah, like, like four years ago or something. Yeah. Five years ago. By accident and everybody said this was the most amazing turkey. Yep. The, the thing is it puts the breast on the bottom and so the breasts stay nice and moist so all, all of your white meat that nobody ever wants because it's really dry um, it is actually like when I go to cut it, it just it oozes. It's amazing. It oozes is probably not a good word for that word. it. Um, the the succulent juices of the turkey flow. <laughs> flow is not a good word either. For, okay, just stop. For, okay, it's juicy. <laughs> so we're gonna cook it upside down. What what we do is uh, we cook it upside down. And then for for I don't know what the last 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, we go ahead and flip the turkey, which is. It's a debacle, let me tell you, flipping that hair. Because you want to get the skin golden brown on top. Yeah. That's really just so it looks pretty. Yeah. All right, the turkey is stuffed. Priscilla is poking holes in it. And I tucked her legs back underneath her, her butt flap. <laughs> What's that thing? I don't know. I don't know the turkey's anatomy. It's a butt flap. Ooh. This is. Yeah, you don't use a lot. Of this it. is pungent. Yeah. All right, we got it all stuck. Y'all see that? Isn't that cool? <laughs> and now we're gonna butter it up so the seasoning stick to it nicely. Thanks for letting me help with the turkey. No problem. I feel like I'm, I'm like stepping on your toes here. A little like, bit, a little like bit. Like this is your thing. It is, kind of is. But I, I want you to be included. <laughs> Thanks. This is like, it's like the real stuff. This smells terrible. What do you mean? Why would anybody eat this? Let me see. It smells terrible. Is it? it? You can't do that when you're cooking. Oh. You can't. Blech. So now you need to flip them. Okay. My goodness. Yeah. You're a big girl. Alright, so everything on this counter pretty much is contaminated, so all this gets thrown away. 
All right, she is greased up and ready to party. And I'm gonna get up at 5 a.m. and put it in the oven. Okay. Um, don't wake me up. Okay. Thanks for your help. No problem. I, I had fun. You've I've never, never done, done that before. that before. Yeah. You basically just poking holes in it and sticking things in there. So. Yeah.